Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on the laws of indices. This is a nice, easy topic which will get you a couple of marks in your exam. We're going to begin with a few facts that you need to remember. So the first fact, something I always go on about at class, anything to the power of zero, so a to the power of zero is one. Five to the power of zero is one. So you need to remember that anything to the power of zero is one. Next, a to the power of one. a to the power of one is just a. It stays the same. Five to the power of one is just five, because it stays the same. So anything to the power of one just stays what it was at the first place. Uh, next one, what would a to the minus one be? Uh, some people get a bit stuck on this, so you need to remember it just means 1 over a. The minus means 1 over. So 5 to the minus 1 would be 1 over 5. And we'll do one last one. If you had, say, 3 squared, most people know 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So 3 to the minus 2 or 3 to the minus squared, would just be 1 over 9. Right, if you re can remember these four facts, you'll probably get yourself two marks in the exam. Now we're going to move on and do some harder questions. So, we'll start with the most basic rule of indices. t squared times t to the power of 3. When you times t's, we just add up the powers. So the power is 2 and the power is 3. Add them up, you've got t to the power of 5. When you divide, so let's have m to the power of 7 divided by m squared. You do the opposite. We take away the powers. So we've got 7 and 2. Take them away, you've got m to the 5. If we make it a bit harder and put some other numbers in, let's have 3m to the power of 7 times 2m to the power of 3. Well, we have to break this up. We do our what we did with the m's first. So we've got m7 and m3. Add up the powers, 3 and 7. You'll get m to the 10. And then we look at the big numbers in the front, the 3 and the 2. And because they're not powers, they're real numbers, we just do what it says in the question, which is times them together. So 3 times 2 is 6. Let's do one of them with division. Let's do 9x uh, to the power of 5 divided by 3x squared. Notice here the division I've put written like a fraction. That just means divide. Well, look at the powers. 5 and 2. Take them away. You're going to get x to the power of 3. Look at the big numbers. 9 and 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So that's our answer. We'll do one more now where there's two different letters. So let's have 6m3n2 times 3m5n. So all you do in this question, let's do the big numbers first this time. 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Now let's do the m's. Well, we've got m to the 3 and m to the 5. Add them up. You've got m to the 8. Then you do the n's. You've got n squared here, so we've got a 2. Here, we haven't got any power. When there's no power, you can just put a 1 there. So when we add up the 2 and the 1, we get n3. So it's just like we've done in class. Let's do the same sort of thing with a division. Let's do 12 m to the 5, n to the 7, divided by 3, m to the 2, n to the 3. Let's take the big numbers first, the 12 and the 3, and divide them. You'll get 4. Then we'll do the m's. Power is 5 here, the power is 2 there. It's divide, so we take away. So it's m3. Now do the n's. Power is 7, power is 3. Take them away. 7 take away, 3 is 4, so it's n to the 4. So there's your answers. So we've gone through that quite quickly, but we've done it a lot in class. So hopefully that's some good examples for you. 
And here on this page is a few practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck and get your teacher to help you if you need it.